Hello everybody. Glad you got to join me again here. I want to try to get another fishing episode in. Crappie Kev coming at you with yet another episode fishing at Norris Lake for some crappie. We got our poles ready for it and we're going to try to throw everything we can at them see what they'll bite. We've got tight lining uh, rig up ready for them. We got slip bobber set up ready for them. The micro jig, as you've seen in the video uh, uh, here a couple of weeks ago. Sorry, lost my words there for a second. Uh, yeah, we're we actually not done really a whole lot of walking to get to this spot right here. My hopes is, is that we'll do really good catching crappies. All we can do is try. Oh, there we go. That might be a white bass though. It feels like a white bass. Oh yeah, that's white bass. Or is that a largemouth? Huh, nope. It's a very eety beady, teeny tiny, true striped bass. Look how tiny this true striped bass is. Boy, you're a strong little tough nut. Yeah, that ain't a white bass. That's a, that's a true stripe. So, oh, there you go, little buddy. <laughs> so what I've done is I've ended up having to move back to where I've normally been catching them at. This time of the year, crappie and yellow bass and white bass, at least here in Norris Lake, goes hand in hand. So I welcome, oh man, I had a big hit right there. But that was a yellow bass or, I'm, or a true stripe or something. Anyway, I welcome catching yellow bass or white bass or striped bass, whatever. Because more times than not, and you might not catch them, who knows? You, 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 you might not, in, you might catch three dozen of these little things and never catch a crappie. But, going back to my point, more times than not at this time of the year here at Norris Lake, yellow bass and crappie, white bass and crappie, they go hand in hand. So, they're going for the same shad and they suspend just about the same way that's fish number one that's you know at least we're not skunked but no it ain't crappie either but at this point i'm just having fun and uh just fishing for what i can and and at this point i'm using a 132nd ounce jig head with a two inch blue ice bobby garland um same deal four pound test all that stuff you pretty much know what line i use i don't really you know change lines or you know experiment with other lines or whatever I just pretty much go with what I feel comfortable with and the way my motto is stick to what you know yeah so that's what all I'm doing and I'm not really letting it sink all that much just like the way I caught that fish right there um, I've just let it maybe sit for a full second just kind of enough time to get my feet underneath me to get set for whenever I need to start setting the hook if I need to but oh I had a hit right there but uh, yeah, not, I'm not really thinking that there's going to be any crappie caught today. I'm just pretty much fishing for whatever we'll bite. And there is a lot of um, uh, of striped bass running. Golly, that might be a crappie. I'm pretty sure if that ain't a crappie though, it's I, I can't tell. Hold on, folks. Nope, yellow bass. See, they done that to me last year. Yellow bass fought like a crappie and a crappie fought like a yellow bass. It ain't no different this year either. Man, he's he swallowed that hook. Look at him the way he's got his gills flared up, getting that keeping that mouth closed. Here. Before I go out there, I'm gonna see if I can't get it right there. Almost got it. There we go. Right there, pretty little yellow bass. Oh yeah, yeah, little yellow bass, right. full of eggs. Oh yeah, yeah that. Here, you want a snack? 
Oh shucks, nah. I, pr I appreciate it. I got a fi I got fish slime all over my hand. Oh man, hold on. I'll, I'll, <laughs> let let me let this little girl me. go. <laughs> oh man, here let. Tim, I appreciate you know it, buddy. This is warm. If you want to take them in and take them back to your cooler first and rinse, but otherwise, you, uh, you know what? Man, uh, it, you, there uh, you go. That's I, a little bit. I appreciate Thanks that so much. Man, I told my wife, I said, we got so much here. I think the first few pieces, I'm actually not the first few because I already had two. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, anyhow. Now the truth comes out. <laughs> I love to bring you a couple pieces. So. Hey, hey, I appreciate you so much, Kim. Yeah, not a problem. Happy to help you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, you have a wonderful uh, trip back to Fall Creek know, Falls. And, uh, yeah, right. if I don't see you again, man, but, uh, man I, I appreciate this Thank so you, kindly. Yeah. I do. Hey, absolutely. I'll take it, Maddie. Thank you. Mm. Oh, man. Y'all, that is delicious. Some, uh, mm. hang on just a second, y'all. That is delicious. So, that gentleman's name is Tim. He said him and his wife's down from Michigan just having a little three-week extravaganza, having themselves a ball here. Oh, hmm. Oh, man. They were over here fishing, and uh, he was asking me a little bit of advice on how they can fish this lake right here, and I was like, well, you know, there's a couple ways of attacking, and I told him about my micro jig um, set up and I told him about tight line set up right here which is pretty simple and I cannot talk without having to stop and take a bite I'm sorry folks y'all have to f excuse my uh, bad manners mm. oh my goodness anyway they're from Michigan and he says that he catches a lot of perch up in Michigan he didn't say specifically I want to say yellow perch but you know, they got white perch up there. They got yellow perch. They got speckled perch, which is crappie. Um, you know, they got all kinds. So if this ain't crappie, I think this is a uh, yellow perch. Oh, my goodness. Look at how that is, folks. The way he breaded it and defried it. My goodness. Oh, Lord, I should have prayed before I ate this. I feel bad now. I don't know what I was thinking. I got too excited seeing that right there. Holy mackerel. You don't have to bear with me. I'm sorry. I can't talk. I gotta keep eating. I'll be right back. Buddy, you missed the best fish fry right there. Oh, man, a life. Huh. That was delicious. Put that bread on crappie and cook it like that right there. I'm telling you, folks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate you, Tim. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. Son. I have to gain, regain my composure now. I forgot all what I was doing. Mm. Boy, and he's running right with me. Another yellow bass. Little girl. Well, I don't know. Might be female. Too tiny for me to be able to tell on that deal, but I would give you some fish there, buddy, but uh looks like you're the master of fishing. Fishing. Sorry, I said fisher. You're the master of fishing anyway. I don't think you would have any problems catching your own fish. I know I sure ain't. I know a lot of people don't really want to target yellow bass and all that kind of nature. Here's my opinion. Where there's yellow bass, there's crappie. Where there's white bass, there's crappie. And this time of the year, we're, we're at the first week of March, and actually the end of the first week of March. Actually, what is today? Today is the 8th. So we're starting the, the, uh, the 8th of, no, excuse me, the 8th of March. Look at him. He went all the way over there now. He's greedy. He saw a little bit of the uh, bait flipping over there. Now he's wanting 
to go over there and see if he can't get lucky. I'm telling you, bird, if you come over here where I'm at, you catch yourself a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Yep, smorgasbord. 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 Ah, English language. It's always hard for me to speak. There we go. All right. Another little yellow bass or white bass? Let's see what we got here. Oh, no. Another true striper. I mean, eedy beedy little true striper. Well, I'll be. Son, they are stout, even tiny little thing. More slimy than anything, though. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's some pretty color on them. All right, little buddy. Hey, go on back and get a little bigger. How's that sound? I might end up going to a um, a monkey milk before it's said and done with. I'm not sure yet. The bites ain't every cast. Golly, what a yellow bass. Huh, <laughs> son. Now that is a big yellow bass. Look how he fights like a crappie there, kind of, sort of. Most of the time, yellow bass, they act a lot like a white bass. Then little head shakes. It's like they go to their side and they're like, G -g 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 -g. Ah, well, it's hard describing it over the camera. That's kind of silly, but son, that is like, oh, stout little thing. Golly, come on. It's amazing how much power these little fish have in them. Look at that tail. That's how they get their power more than anything. Ew, I got fish poo on me. That's gross. All right. I know you're a little female too, ready to spawn eggs, so there you go, little girl. Have your way. Atta girl. Crop here. That's another yellow bass. No. Is that a yellow? No. If it is a little, yep, it's a little yellow bass. For a second, I thought he was a white bass. He's got light colors. Sorry about that, my camera died on me. There's a bunch of catfish men that'll say, Man, throw that in the bucket. We'll use that for catfish bait. How about no? <laughs> well, that was a little mean, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big catfisher person. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll fish for catfish once in a blue moon, but I really got to be in the mood for it. I mean, I really got to be in the mood for it. But yeah, oh, I had a flipping bite as soon as it hit that water, and I did. He came back for it. Ain't that just the funniest and coolest thing? That silly fish. He hit it. He missed it, and then he came right back for it. Yellow bass. He's not putting much of a fight. He's he realized what what a silly uh, goose he is, and I think I foul hooked him. Did I foul hook? Him? Let's see what happened here. Nope, didn't foul hook him. Look at that. No foul hook. Boy, she's a pretty thing. I'm not in the mood for yellow bass, but I tell you what, I don't mind eating them. They are delicious fish. And I mean delicious fish. They're not crappie delicious, but they are delicious. Yeah, I mean, so the bait hit the water. He hit the bait. I mean, I was on top of his head. He hit the bait. I pulled it and missed him. And he came right back for it. He really wanted that. And I keep calling him a he. That was a she full of eggs. Off of a blue eyes. Man, it's hard for me to go to monkey milk right now. If I'm catching fish just like this right here. And like I said, they're in a, a specific depth. It's like three feet deep is the deepest of water that they are swimming in. I don't think they're necessarily three feet deep altogether. I think they're right there on the top of the water. 
That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. That feels like a little better fish, too. Swimming right to... Oh, that's a crappie! What did I tell y'all? <laughs> Come on, let's bring him in. <laughs> Son, I love it. Look at this. Full of eggs. I mean, son, she's ready to pop. Holy cow. Boy, look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness gracious. That is a solid 12 inch, or ain't no doubt about it. That is a 12 inch crappie. Oh my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No, I don't want to keep fish today. I'm not keeping crappie either. I just want to. Lord, thank you. I'm telling you, folks look at that look at that look how broad her shoulders is i it, this i'm telling y'all cameras don't do it justice i i mean i i can't there's there's no way i can compare how big this crappie is without the belly look how full that belly is look how she's rated pop son all right pretty thing Let's get you revived up a little bit. There she goes. Oh man, I just, God, I can't get enough of it. Son, I can't get enough of that right there. That is my drug right there, folks. Oh my. That crappie hit that bait so hard that I thought that it was either a uh, a true striped bass or at least a yellow bass but if it was a yellow bass i was like man that's a good size yellow bass it just gosh i just mm, I'm tripping over rocks i don't care i told y'all and i told y'all and i told y'all if you're fishing for a crappie and you catch a yellow bass just keep it up you'll eventually hit it you will eventually hit a crappie. You might only catch one crappie, but that right there was worth it. And as you see right here, all I'm doing is just a little steady reel. Oh, that was a little white bass or a yellow bass right there. He never committed. He went nip, nip, and then that was it. I'll let that one sink for just a half second more. And boom. God, oh, look at that. He coming right to me. Yep. You messed up, didn't you there, little buddy? About the same size in that school that, I, that I've been catching here. Granted, since only fish number two. Ew, fish poo. And I got fish poo on my hands. Going back pretty thing. Wash my hands real quick. All right. And back out we go. Oh man, now that was a hit. Let's see if we'll come back for it. He swiped at it and missed it. Yeah, that was a fish for sure. Ain't no doubt about it. Let it sink for just another half a foot. And then like that, there we go. Yep. He went right back for it. He stayed in that same flipping spot that I had, had him hit it at. And he came right for it. Little yellow bass. You're hooked, little buddy. You ain't going nowhere. I always have to clench their gill plates together like that right there to get their mouth open 
because they are the world's toughest mouths to open up without doing that. Man, that was cool. He hit it, and I felt him hit it, and he didn't come back to commit to it. And I thought, well, if I throw it right back to where he hit it at, he might still be there. Boom, sure enough, he was. I didn't let one uh, sink as long as I did that last time, but there's definitely a really good size school out there swimming around. You just got to keep up with them. There he is. Oh yeah. Yellow bass. Oh, that's a good size yellow bass too. Now, now, open up that little mouth. Come on, there you go. There he is. Now, that is a pretty decent sized little yellow bass. Ah, he's not near as big as I thought. He's more chunky than he is big. All right, little buddy. Let's get that hook out of your mouth. And boom. There he is. <laughs> I pulled him right out of the water. Silly me. Boy, look at how tiny this little thing is. Buddy, what are you doing? You just a eaty beady little yellow bass. I mean, I can barely make you out that you're a yellow bass. That's how tiny you are. Here, let me help get this. Oh. I cut the line. Silly me. All right, going back. Tiny little fella. You got a catfish? Oh man, hang on just a second. I'll be a son of a gun. An old stinky old catfish. Oh, little stinky channel cat. Boy, that is a good little channel cat. That's that's good eating size right there. I don't eat catfish, but no, he, yeah, I, 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 I know. No, no, I these are these are water resistant. It's all right. Okay, so am I. That's all oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I, didn't want to I don't know why I brought my pole down with me. <laughs> Lord. Because we're going to do is just hook him on there and show you a video on Oh, Whisker. Whisker hooked him. <laughs> Buddy, yeah, that's yeah, a man. lucky catch for you, ain't it? There we go. I'm considering it's the first fish I ever caught in Tennessee. Yeah. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, that's about as big as you want them to get before you get past eating size. Okay. Here, I'll let you. It's yeah, your... Yeah, here, I'm going to send a picture to my friend of mine. He's a good fisherman, if you don't mind. Just yeah, hope. absolutely. All right. First fish of Tennessee, right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Then my new friend Kevin give me the bait to catch you, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Because normally they hit something like this right here. Or a night crawler laying on the bottom or something, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> But hey, that just tells you right there. Possible. That's fishing. You don't know what you're That's so, exactly. And, and, and that's kind of fishing. That's why I told my wife. I said, man, back when I was younger and I didn't have a boat, I used to fish the banks at the pits, on gravel pits all the time. Just cast it out yep. there and just let it sit. And when you see that line start making a V across the water, there you, you know. That you line, know it might be yep. a bluegill. It might be a soccer. It might be a cat. You don't know what it's gonna be. Exactly. Which made a lot of fun, you know. Man, I'm glad you caught that. That's no, all. No, thank you. Off yeah, of I that right there. Set up on there and took a few casts and. Yeah, and all that slime too. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah. 
there we go. Look at that. Look how well that worked. That might be a true stripe. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Barely. Barely hooked them in the mouth. Well, that's pretty cool seeing Tim catch a, his first Tennessee fish, which is a catfish. Using that little bait that I uh that I'm using. And then you got this little buddy right here. Well at least we gotta see a picture of him swim off. Cool. There he is. That's a that might be a good size yellow bass. Uh, mm. He's a fun fighter. I wouldn't call him good size. He's a little fun fighter. What do you think of it, little bud? Oh, that's what he thinks of it. Let me go, you darn fool. Before I let you all go, I gotta give two big shout outs, okay? Now, uh, obviously the first big shout out has to go to Tim from Michigan. The man from Michigan, Tim. All right, the man from Michigan, Tim. Yeah, I like that, it's kind of catchy. Or just Tim for short. How about that, we'll, we'll do Tim for short. Um, brought, off that, uh, uh, brought out them, uh, the little uh, uh, perch that he deep fried up, bred it up so perfectly well. That was a delicious fish that he cooked up and had me eat. I'm telling y'all that something about a perch from Michigan that's uh, that hits just the the right spot, buddy. I'm telling you. Uh, I don't know. It's it's still. I, I love you, Tim. I appreciate you, buddy. I'm not downing your fish. It is amazing. I still cannot put that on top of crappie. Not yet. Put that breading on crappie and deep fry just the same way and I just about guarantee you, you're gonna have the best food or the best fish that I've ever eaten. But uh, anyway, um, I was very uh, blessed to be able to uh, show him what kind of the, uh, stuff that I was using and let him use some of my stuff and uh, uh, you know, put on his line and ended up catching a really good catfish uh, honestly didn't even think that the channel cast was going to be running up that shallow this early in the season at norris lake but that just tells you right there you don't know what you're going to catch until you go out there and fish so folks just go fishing just go fish but the second shout out is to um to uh, mr colby i won't you know uh he messaged me here a few times on uh, some of my videos and um you know was you know i saw him out a couple times out on the water um he was fishing there on the bank and we got talking a little bit and uh he was talking about where uh where he works at and um you know before he went there he uh he went to serve our, our country now and i apologize kobe i i forgot what uh branch in the military you serve but nevertheless you serving our country is um always um something that uh you know that we're thankful about me especially but i know a lot of people here a bunch of patriots here uh appreciate your service for our country and uh never enough thanks uh, never enough appreciation but uh at least the, the 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 best way that we can start off appreciating you and the likes of everybody else that has served our country or is serving our country now is starting off by saying thank you that's all we can do um, and, and be be uh, sincere about it and appreciative about it because without the likes of Colby and everybody else we wouldn't be able to have the freedom to go fishing y'all period so uh, praise God and, and thank God for our veterans um, so with all that out of the way I'm going to close it out by saying thank y'all so much once again for tuning in for another awesome fishing video um it's only awesome because you all make it awesome uh the amount of people that have now subscribed to me 
that just continues to grow and to and continues to build up this page um uh, build up this channel i'm sorry not the, I, I can't even talk y'all I, I i'm I, i'm so excited because i'm so appreciative of you all thank y'all again so much god bless each and every one of you all um hopefully we'll get another video put up again here soon um but until then we will see you all next time